was popping back on Pokemon Showdown today with some new fire. Been pretty busy with work among other things, but found some time to record. And on the last video, I brought Illumise into the OU tier, which if you haven't seen yet, make sure to check it out. It was quite fantastic. And today, in a similar fashion, I decided to bring Minen into the OU tier, a very interesting and difficult Pokemon to make work, but I found a pretty useful role for it. Now, before we get into the video, I'd like for each and every one of you to leave a comment. Tell me your favorite counterpart Pokemon. I'd like to know, like, for example, Minen over Plusle, maybe, or perhaps Throw over Sock, or Heracross over Pinsir, etc. Something like that I'd like to know, because I'm pretty sure there are a lot more, and I look forward to hearing from you all as always. Or just leave a comment to support, you already know. I uh, enjoy hearing from you all. Now, as you can see, we have the nice Choice Scarf Minen with Switcheroo. <laughs> so the way this Pokemon works, and I think it's a really unique way of using this Pokemon because initially I was running Nasty Plot with two attacks and sub, and that's like, it wasn't that bad, but at the same time, it wasn't really great. And I've seen other Pokemon do it better. But this set here, I think is really cool because the utility that this thing can provide is just um, pretty nice. Switcheroo can lock a Pokemon into Choice Scarf. So you can take away Pokemon's item, like for instance, Blissey and lock them in to uh, a Scarf, just rendering them um, less useful, a lot less useful than they would have been otherwise. Encore, Choice Scarf Encore, you can lock a Pokemon into a setup move perhaps, and maybe you're also um, faster than them. If they're like setting up speed boosting moves or whatever, you can just Encore them. We also have uh, Nuzzle, like Choice Scarf Nuzzle. Think about that, right? Choice Scarf Nuzzle, get that nice paralysis off on, on fast Pokemon. So it could be pretty nice. Then we have uh, Vol Switch, which is there for the purpose of the nice momentum, giving us the momentum after we lock a Pokemon in to a move, perhaps, or just um, just momentum-wise, it's pretty solid. Uh, but of course, we have here more heat on this team. Ice Beam for Alligator with 240 special attack. So Ice Beam is becoming more common on for Alligator, but with 240 special attack, we're actually able to Oko Fizz Def Tangrowth. Fizz Def Tangrowth from full. So you can double from Brelim to, to for Alligator and Ice Beam and knock them out. There's actually a really cool replay that I want to show you all after this um, after this video. So I'll show you guys that. Not not the video, but you know you know what I mean at the very end. But I'll show you guys that soon. But this is a really fun set. Dragon Dance, um, two attacks plus Ice Beam, Waterfall, and uh, Crunch. Good good moves overall. So then we have Stealth Rocks, Memo for that nice uh, chip damage. And I think that Memo Swine with Focus Ash is just great to check so many different things in that tier. Like Lucario is a huge threat and having Sash could be useful for those kinds of mods. We have Togekiss, which is there for T-Wave, Roost. I had Defog on this thing, but I also had Defog Scizor. I replaced Defog on Togekiss for Flamethrower so that we can get damage on Scizor, Magnezone, etc. Nice choice band, Breloom, which I think goes really well with Minin because... Um, you can like switch a real Pokemon and stuff, and then Breloom destroys things. Breloom also just like destroys ground types for um for mine, and so does for alligator. Because mining gets walled unless we run Grass Knot, but I didn't find a place for Grass Knot there. Um, finally, Scizor for Defog. So we have uh you know nice rocks, Defog, bunch of offensive stuff, some decent switches here and there, and a utility mining for the team. That's gonna be the squad. Let's go ahead and hop into our first game. And make this Pokemon put in the finest of work. Already. Look at this Pokemon's face right here. It's not having any any kind of... Uh, look at this, see? This Pokemon's face right here is the description of what it looks like when it sees this team. <laughs> the stall team, of course. We're going mine in first, and we're going to Switcheroo. Yep, hit the Blissey. Nice, nice. Go into Scizor here. So, we've, uh, we've managed to... <laughs> Cripple the Blissey. Oh, we actually imagine if I switch her again though. That would have been crazy. Easy U turn here into Feraligator. And I, I guess we can just go right for the um Waterfall. I'm gonna ice beam here. Gone. <laughs> Gone. Tangrowth eliminated. Quagsire is in. We get to go into probably I wanna say Togekiss here. And then double into Breloom. Nice, perfect, beautiful, I should say. I'm gonna force palm here as Skarmory comes in. Definitely don't want to stay in on this. I'm gonna go mine, mine in, and then go right for the uh, switch to Breloom. Let's go ahead and force palm again. And the paralysis obtained. Gonna just uh, force palm again. As Gliscor comes in, we get to go into Scizor. He gets up rocks, we defog, and then roost. And then defog, no, U turn. Nope, forfeit. <laughs> forfeit, exactly. Destroyed stall. 6-0 stall with a mining team. That's, a, that's equivalent of a 6-0. 6-0 six 
6-0 stall with Minen right there for the first game. Just so you guys can see that uh, this Minen actually, <laughs> since the very beginning of time, turn 1, it just switcherooed and won the entire game right then and there. Crazy. And of course, we got also got to see the Ice Beam for Alligator put in the work. Wow. Not bad at all. Continuing on. <laughs> Continuing on here. Ah. Alright, so we got a game here up against a interesting, interesting team. Hmm. So we got Azu, Rotom. We got a bunch of stuff here. I think mine and lead though. <laughs> I think mine and lead is the way. Gotta lead with it, right? You already know. Hopefully, uh, okay, so actually I'm gonna switch through this thing. Take away his Toxic Orb. Let's take it away. Let's take it away. <laughs> Let's take it away from him. Yo, not today. Now he's locked in, right? And then we just uh, switcheroo again. Don't stay in, switch out. There we go. Ah, <laughs> mining. Let's go mining. <laughs> Let's go mining. Okay. Okay, okay. Not bad at all. So then we just, uh, we've poisoned this thing. We've taken, uh, we've taken his choice scarf as well. Taking away his choice scarf. We're going to go ahead and switch out here, I think, into who do we not need? Probably Scizor. We don't really need as much. He tricks it. Oh, look at these plays. We gave the Toxic Orb to the one Pokemon that can't get poisoned. <laughs> Yo, that's fire. Yo, look at the, look at the utility Minin's providing. Choice Scarf, Gliscor. Right? Oh, check this out. Check this out here. All we gotta do now is go right into our what trusty Mamoswine and just Ice Go Crash. Could also Ice Shard here for the chip. I'm gonna crash. Let's hit the Rotom slot up. 28%, just what you love to see. Minin time. Let's go into Minin. I think is the play. So the Hydro's nice. We're just going to uh So we have the choice scarf on this thing. We'll switch out for the chip into into who into who okay so he's gonna hydro or wisp not voltage right let's go into tokikis yep gone oh the mining <laughs> yo the mining you've not seen a mining put in this much work i'll tell you that much right now okay so this is back we're gonna go into mamoswine right let's go mamoswine here we're gonna earthquake because he is not staying in yep azu comes in Beautiful. Get that damage. Is Belly Drum, of course. Good to know. I think we just go into um Probably well we could use Scizor for defogging later on. Honestly, I'm just going to I'm gonna earthquake again. Yup, you already know. <laughs> you already know you tried to belly drum on that turn. Ah, gone. Nice. Infernape's in, so we're just going to definitely want to save you. Going to Togekiss here. As he close combats, nice. We're just gonna go ahead and I think T wave, but he goes Gliss score. Let's T wave again. Wanna see what he locks himself into. If it if it has U-turn, so he doesn't have U-turn, okay, so he's just knock off. We're gonna roost here. Back to a good amount of health. We go. Thunder wave this. It's probably analytic. Yep. Probably. Let me just uh air slash here now. Get a little chip. Oh no, he's natural here. Okay, never mind. Go ahead and roost here. So he's earthquake, knockoff, stealth rocks, roost probably. Yeah, so we're just gonna do this and then we're just gonna air slash here for some damage. But look at what Minin has done to this guy's team. Look at what Minin has done. It's done a bunch of stuff. GG. Like Minin? So air slash here. He says, yeah. Nice, I like it. It's a life orb set. That's kind of, it's kind of strong. Thunder wave and then air slash here. Let me just roost. Yeah, a very solid mining game. Just roost here, and I'm going to go into. I want to go mining so badly. <laughs> I really wanted to go mining. But we, oh, look at that damage right there. That's beautiful damage. I'm sure another air slash knocks it out. Yeah. Paralyzes me. That's okay. 
could make it a 6-0, but... However... Yeah, I will. This is paralyzed, so I can't heal it up anyways. Yeah, we just get to go into Fralligator. Waterfall here. Ice Beam the following turn. Win the game. And that's gonna be GG. Fantastic, fantastic game right there. Absolutely love to see the power of Minen. Minen actually just did so much work there. Switcherooing and stuff like that. And we, we took away Gliscor's Toxic Orb turn one. We gave it to Rotom. And then we just uh, <laughs> we had a fun time. An absolutely fun time in that one. Nice. Excellent. Once you like, once you know, you know, the secret, the true secret. I, I explained this also. I, I don't know if I explained it to my team builder, but you want to make a Pokemon put in work, lead with it. You want to build around any Pokemon you want to. Just uh, find out like what it does best and, and just do it because it's going to work if you have a team that supports it or have Pokemon that benefit from it. Yeah, like here, for instance, I mean, I'm still going to lead mine in either way. I see why not. Every time I see a Rotom, I want to switch through it because I know if it's Choice Scarf, then it's going to get worn down over time without leftovers. So like, yep, he's also Choice Scarf as well. So let's go ahead and uh, Vol Switch out into... I don't know if that resets his locking in ability, but I'm going Togekiss here. Yep, so he's locked in. Nice. I'm just going to Flame Through... No, Thunder Wave. And I'm just going to go Scizor. As he knocks off, I can probably just Roost to get a little health back. Yeah, that's fine. And then... I think just you turn out here into Feraligator. So we know he's Choice Scarf, right? We're going to just go right for the Crunch. You could also Ice Beam here. That's up actually really good damage. 24%. Not bad. Going mine in. Nice, nice. Let's go ahead and uh, switcheroo here. Actually, his Gliscor is already poisoned, so... I could take a Choice Scarf on something else. Mm. Let's Encore him into this Will-O-Wisp. Actually... Okay, so he's locked into that. We're going to go Togekiss here, double into... Or we just Air Slash. Yeah, let's Air Slash for some Chip. Nice Chip. Let's go Scizor here. The Rotom getting weak is actually really good. It's really, really good. Let's Roost up here. And then just U-turn out. Into Feraligator we go, and I think we just Crunch here is the play. Or maybe we just Waterfall this time, because it kind of hits pretty much most things. So I think we just Waterfall here. Yeah, Brelum's in. If this thing, I don't know if it's Jolly or not, right? Don't know if it's Jolly or not. I think we just go Togekiss here because it's pretty much the safest play possible. Double out into Feraligator. That's, ooh, interesting. Minin. Is, we're already burnt, so he is locked in. Gliscor is in. Gonna just go Scizor here. Mm-hmm. Just roost up. So which one is the defogger then? It has to be... Okay, so maybe it's Scizor. So he goes Heatran here. Okay, nice. Let's, uh... I'm just gonna go back to Minin. <laughs> Minin. Okay, so this is the rocker. Minin every time is the play. For alligators, my switch. Back to this, I guess, again. Okay, nice. Going Scizor. All right, so he got me with the burn. Nice. And then we just uh, roost here, and then U-turn, I think, is my play. Yeah, so U-turn out. Because every time we bring in for alligator, it's like we're going to have a good time. Yeah, so let's do that into for alligator here. And I think we just... Uh, I think we just Dragonite's up here. 
and then force him to go for the Volt Switch. Yep, perfect. Into Mamoswine we go now. So he's locked in. So we get to go Mamoswine because he's going to go Gliscor, I think. So this seems like the play. Yep, or double Volt Switch. Nice. And this is great because we can just Earthquake here to hit the Scizor slot. Or get rocks up because we want to chip the Rotom. Let's get rocks up so we can chip. Start chipping things down. Nice. And then we're going to just Earthquake here now. <laughs> he's really he's really trying to outplay. He is really trying to outplay. Yup, Heatran gone. Nice. Goodbye. So Heatran out of the way is amazing. Yeah, because he is, he is locked in. So we're, we're in a good spot. Yeah, we just get to go here into Togekiss, I think. Oh, he just... Okay, so he Swords Danced up. Kind of a threat. Life Orb. Okay, so he's a Life Orb set. Life Orb Swords Dance. So, in that case, what we want to do, I believe, is... Can... Oh, Minin probably can't live that. So we have Rocks up, which is great. I think... Brillum's going to be really useful. Kind of need for Alligator a little bit. No, but as long as we have Mammoth Swine, I think we're good. All we got to do here is just Waterfall. Get as much damage as we can on this thing. Yeah, and this is dead to rocks now, so that's gone. And I don't know if... Uh, I guess unless Gliscor is Defog. But yeah, Clef is in now. That's unaware. Good to know, good to know. We just have to, I think. So Mammoth Swine should take out Brelim with Ice Shard from the range it's at. Rotom is, it just has to be locked into something. So Clefable, okay, so here's what we do. Here is what we do. Brelim, sh I don't think Brelim dies to a Moonblast. It might, I'm not sure. I'm going to just Bullet Seed here for as much damage as possible. Because my end game is going to be Mammoth Swine, I think. Just two seeds, really? <laughs> they just gave me two seeds. Come on. All right, so I'm just going to um, Icicle Crash. We should knock it out. Should definitely knock it out. Yep, that's gone. Excellent. So Rotom's in. Nice chip as well. Let's go into Scizor. So we'll Hydro. We just Bullet Punch for a little chip. And so... Go hard, Mammoth Swine. Icicle Crash is the play. Ice Shard will take out Scizor, so I don't know if that was that worth it for him. I think we should be fine. Ice Shard should definitely take out Scizor, I think. Yeah, Scizor's in. Ah, uh, potentially. Potentially. Gonna sack Scizor. And now Ice Shard takes it out. So then Rotom is in now. I think we just crash here. Nice. Ice Shard should take it out, I think. Yep. Last is going to be Breloom. And win the game. Ah, good game. Good game. A solid one. A solid one right there. We put in the work, though, with this team. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. So that was nice to see us being able to, um, I don't know, just destroy some of those mons that we uh, that we did there. I think Mamoswine really came in clutch towards the end with the Sash. And that's why I really like the fact that if we could just like give Rotom a Choice Scarf, or if it already has the Choice Scarf to begin with, easy to chip down. And then we have the Sash intact as well, which is um, extremely, extremely useful versus um, those kinds of teams. Uh, but let's see what else Minin can do within the span of this video. I'm so happy to see it actually doing some stuff, really. It's nice. <laughs> it's very nice. Might have to bring... Uh, so I, I did Illumise and I did Minin. I might, I might also have to do Volbeat and Plusle at some point in time. I did Plusle and Oras, of course. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I did a video with it back in the day. 
Still a really um fun mod to use. I know I think I know Joey recently did Volbeat, but he always does it with like Rain Dance or something, some kind of like standard set. For me, I'm a I'm gonna have to like switch it up a little bit, you know? Probably bring it a different way. Hmm. Alright, so we got a game. The first shaman of the day. And this Pokemon actually recently released back into the OU tier for uh, I guess just release period in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. We have options, I think. We just lead Minin. And I think we just switch a Roo here. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we just switch a Roo. <laughs> exactly. Just as I thought. And now I go Brillum on the Don fan and Bullet Seed. Let's go. I think I can Bullet Seed here. I think I can. Goes back to Shaman. Two seeds only. So I get to go in a Togekiss here on this Pokemon. And then just Thunder Wave. The Don fans in, so I Air Slash now. Continuously. Mm hmm. Not sure what he's trying to do, but I will take it. So that's good. That's very good. Scizor is going to get flamethrowered here. No, it doesn't because I think that's probably Choice Banded, which is really good to know. I think he is indeed Choice Banded. We're going to go into probably Feraligator and Ice Beam is my play. Hit the Shaman, I think, is what we do. Yep, perfect. Ice Beam and lived because he's bulky. That's a Scizor for us and a U-turn out. And so I think we just go mine in here and then nuzzle whatever's in front of us. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, mine in. Let's see what you can do. You're up against uh, a bunch of threats, but I think you got it. We're gonna we're gonna nuzzle here, of course. Okay, never mind, mine in. You're not gonna be able to do anything. But however, we have this. Nice and perfect scissor. I should have switched out for sure, but I didn't know what said he was. Um, okay, so I'm going to go here into Breloom. I think I'm just going to Force Palm. We should live any hit. Yep. Perfect. Let me just go into Scizor and you turn out. Mine did the job. Mine did the job well. I didn't expect the Latias to actually knock it out, and I think the Latias is choice specs because we're max HP. Um, so it ha I think it's choice specs Latias is what I believe it, w it is going to be. So we're just going to mock Punch here. Did not expect choice specs Latias to be honest. But I feel like that's what it is. Even Soldu shouldn't be able to knock out Minin. Unless it does naturally. Let's see how much it does to Scizor and, and then we'll get a gauge on how much it does. Psychic, that's got to be, that's got to be choice specs, right? Maybe. So let's just you turn out here. Or yeah, you turn out here. Perfect. Into Brelin we go and mock punch here is the play. Ooh, Dragon Dance Protect. I see. Definitely going to switch out now. Try to double protect on me. Not today. Not today. Bullet punch. I have Bullet Punch. I don't know what he's trying to <laughs> set up again for. I have Bullet Punch here. And Scizor just wins the game now at this point in time. He got no shot in this one, unfortunately. You turn out here. Into Mamoswine we go. That's that's definitely Choice Specs damage. From Aladias. From Aladias. Ice Shard and Ice Shard. Good game. GG. Nice. Excellent mining game right there. Really um, showcasing its uh, its uh, switching switcheroo ability. <laughs> switcheroo move. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. The way that we uh, maneuvered around was, was fantastic in that one. I'm, I'm, I might make this a little longer one just because uh, 
It's been a little while since I recorded. Or it feels like it's been a little while for myself, at least. Because, like, I uh, had a lot of stuff at work that I had to get done, and then kind of moved into the weekend, and I got a little busy, and I'm planning a, a big move. So, a lot of stuff going on. But it's still, every time I drop, it's going to always be heat. Always. You can count on me for that. Um, okay, mine and lead. Switcheroo, whatever this thing is going to do. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay. Let me Vol switch out here, then into Togekiss. And then I think we just uh, could Thunder Wave here. Yep. Caught the Heatran. Let's go right into Feraligator. Probably could just Dragon Dance up into Minin. And then Switcheroo. Nice. Okay, that works pretty decently. We just Vol Switch out here into Feraligator. Waterfall is the play now. Try to get some chip on this thing. Nice chip. Gone. Excellent. So with Heatran out of the way, it looks like Scizor has a field day. With Weavile in, we are going to just... Probably don't need this thing anymore, actually. So I'm just going to sack and go into Scizor here. I think I can just bullet punch as Rotom comes in. So I'm now I'm just going to go Minin, I think. Or I could Defog here. Perfect. Just what I love to see. Into Togekiss we go. And then I think we just uh, Air Slash here. Thunder Wave on the Flygon's U-turn. Oh, he's got Iron Tail. Okay, never mind. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. But I don't know if he's locked in or not. I want to kind of gauge the damage. Maybe I don't need mining. Actually, I'll go into that. So Rotom's in. Okay, nice. I'm just going to uh, full switch out. He gets the crit there. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go Breloom and I think Force Palm is the play. Kind of hits most stuff. A guaranteed knockout on the Flygon as well. Looking kind of nice. <laughs> Looking kind of clean. And we got a thumbnail text too. Little Minin putting in the finest of work. We're like an undefeated uh, run with a Minin. So far. I'm going Minin here. <laughs> I'm going Minin. Yes! Yes! Let's go Minin! I get the vol I get the vol switch too into Scizor, and I get the he's now trapped in the vortex. <laughs> Yo, and I get to go this, and I get to do that, and I get to do this, and then that, and then this. Okay, going into something else. <laughs> okay, Starmie, what do I do versus you? Probably don't need Togekiss. I'm out of range anyways of everything, so I can just T wave. He actually went for the Voltage and the Minin though. That's crazy. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. My Thunder Wave. I don't even need to keep clicking, clicking anything. I'm just going to Roost. I actually don't need Tokus for much, really. Let's just go ahead and knock this out real quick. Uh, he froze me. That's okay. That is fine. Free myself, please. Alright, let's go Scizor. You turn out. Into Minin. He should be faster than me anyways, but it's okay. Nice. Minin survives. <laughs> Minin survives another day. Into Mamoswine we go. And then, uh... Lottie's in. We have the... The good old, uh... Sash. Okay, fine. Is what it is. Uh, Scizor gets to come in bullet punch, bullet punch. And then we have mock punch in the back too. So just bullet punch here. And win the game. 
And that's gonna be GG. That was a fun game, that was a fun game. <laughs> ah, not bad. Cool, Minin once again doing the work. As always, of course, just as I expected. It's just nice, like, you could see how, how much I'm enjoying just using these kinds of Pokemon. The game never gets old, honestly. Like, as long as you just keep using fun mods like these and winning, then, uh, <laughs> or even if you don't have to win, you don't have to win either. I just, uh, I just test a lot and know, like, exactly how to use each Pokemon. But even just using them is just fun. It's always fun. I'm still thinking about the first game. Mine had destroyed Stall in the very first game. Uh, ooh, this guy's team is actually very cool. This guy's team is... This guy's team is blue and heat. I like it. Sharpedo and stuff too. The kind of team that I would use. But anyways, I'm just going to lead Minen. I think Minen is a, as a lead is going to be good here. Because I think that Skarmory is going to be... Um, yeah, I, I, think, I think I know what we have to do here. I don't even have to switch Rue. I think all I have to do is... Is Nuzzle turn 1 and then... Go Hard Scissor and Defog. Check this out. Let's go ahead and start a timer. So yep, let's go ahead and Nuzzle here. Nuzzle turn 1 is the play. And then we get the defog off basically, which is going to be great. Goes Garchomp, nice. Good play on turn one, very nice. So I'm going to go Togekiss here, I think is going to be what I have to do. Immediate Swords Dance. Does he have any move to touch Togekiss with though? I'm not sure. Yes, he does. But we get the chip we need. That's all the chip we need. So here I just go into Mamoswine. I think I just go right for the Icicle, Icicle Crash here, which is going to be my best play. Yep, and that's gone. So here was Yachi Berry, so the Ice Shard would not have taken it out either. So getting rid of the Garchomp is going to be great for the Minin. He underestimates the power of Minin, <laughs> as you'll soon see. As you will soon witness with your own eyes. Minin is going to be powerful. I hope. Don't know what this Jirachi is going to do. It's probably Belly Drum. I think actually, um, Berlin looks really good here. Scissor looks really good here. For Alligator could potentially be good, depending on his, his team and his sets. So Skarmory's in. We're just going to, I think, go Minin. If he wants to get rocks up, that's fine. I, I think we can defog. I don't. I don't want to stay in just yet. I mean, I could stay in, technically. Hmm. I have to defog though. I think I can defog. Shouldn't be a problem. I'll nuzzle here. Yep. So we got the nice little paralysis. Any taunts here, that's fine. I think I just bullet punch. Try to get some good damage here. Mm-hmm, perfect. We're gonna break out a taunt soon. Like right here, and we can just defog now. Get rid of these hazards, which will be most useful. So this is probably Belly Drum. More than likely. Yep, so we Belly Drums. I think we just, I think we save Scizor. We go into, um... Go to Mamoswine here. Definitely save Scizor is the play. Yeah, let's go Mamoswine. So I think what we do 
is we don't use we don't need for alligator for much i don't think we need for alligator for much i think we just waterfall here get some damage get as much damage as possible right because then we could just uh mock punch with breloom Yeah, I think that's what we do. Because we need to keep Scizor because Scizor actually looks amazing versus his team. <laughs> it's funny, I'm saving the mine in for, for something. Let's go with Scizor. So he psychics, get to the nice little U-turn here. And so actually we get the Volturn combination now. So we get to do this, and then we get to go Minin. Volt switch out here. Which will be pretty nice. So we get a nice little Volt switch on this thing. Nonsense bullet punch versus Skarm, bro. <laughs> what do you mean nonsense? What is he even talking about? He's talking about the paralysis on one turn? Where I got 2% off on bullet punch? <laughs> okay. So he's going to have a Custap thing here. So we're just going to... um. Bullet punch here. Nice. Nice, nice. So we're in a decent position, I think. In a pretty decent spot. Don't know what this Jirachi is going to do, though. Um... I think we just you turn out here. I think we definitely just you turn out here. I don't think this is gonna do a lot. Yeah, because we're more fizz def oriented. So we go here into Minin. Should be the play. And so we try to get the nuzzle on the Latios. I'm glad we got the thumbnail text here, though. I'm trying to focus so that I can win this game, so that we can beat this guy down for talking all this uh, nonsense. <laughs> oh, he's a slow set? What? What is that? Why is that thing so slow? <laughs> oh, because oh, I'm Choice Scarf and he's not Choice Scarf. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So that works pretty well. So the Psychic did 28.9. Scizor comes in. I think above that, pretty sure. Um, I think we do go into, do we go Brelum first? I think we go Brelum first. Cause I don't know what the Jirachi set is. I think we do go Brelum first. <laughs> Wait, whoa. Wait a second there. Why would you say that to me? I'm gonna just Rock Tomb. Prepared? Not yet. Okay, so then this is slow, so we just go for the roost here. Because I think now Scizor just beats Jirachi as well. I'm pretty sure. At least I hope. So yep, we're faster here. Nice, we bullet punch now. Or we just U-turn out, I think is the play. Depends on what this Jirachi set is, of course. Let's 
So he's a Thunder Wave set. Thunder Wave Iron Head, I guess? Or no, not Iron Head. He can't be Iron Head. Doom Desire? <laughs> the only, wait, hold on. Let me let me just uh, let me see if if I can uh, beat this thing down. Oh, he's just that set, okay? <laughs> Let's go. Now I can talk all this all this smack now. Now I can talk the smack. <laughs> GG. I don't know what his last move is though. <laughs> See you, big noob. Goodbye. Newbie. Goofy. This won't be your last. <laughs> ah, gone. That's how we do it out here. That's how we do it. <laughs> the thumbnail text as well. Only the finest of thumbnail text in that last game. Ah. <laughs> Yo, let's go. <laughs> let's go. I don't even know who this guy is, but this guy is a clown. Absolute clown. Complaining about a little paralysis from a bullet punch. Maybe because... Of the, um, the defog or whatever. He should have just hard switched out. Because, like, I was already taunted. He, he he was, like, trying to get up more spikes or something. I don't even know why he stayed in. Like, I was an absolute, uh, clown. Absolutely a clown. And he got exposed as well. <laughs> Whoever this guy is. Try to PM me? Not today, noob. Not today. You saw him talking there? See, I had to make sure. I, I was only going to talk if he kept going. And if I was going to win. <laughs> and I knew I was going to win this game. <laughs> See, we had to we had to play it properly because we we couldn't go scissor on that turn after because scissor is gonna be slower than a paralyzed Lottie, so we had to make sure that it was even slower so that we get the roost off, guaranteed and win the game. But yeah, I think that's what we're gonna end it off for this one. I don't even think I need to show the replay. I was gonna show the replay if I didn't have any thumbnail attacks, but we got plenty of it and we got a we got a raging noob as well in this one, <laughs> a little ladder baby. <laughs> ah, not bad. So. Yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Got to see mine and as well as the rest of the team. Put in only the finest of work. And um, drop a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.